Hi, welcome again to Transparent Academy. I am Rajiv Ramnath, your costing faculty, and in this video, we are going to discuss about process costing. Manufacturing is a very popular economic activity. What we should know, most of the products that we use today are not manufactured in a single process. In fact, it involves multiple processes. I'll give you a very easy example. We all love coffee. How is coffee powder manufactured? Have you ever thought about it? Well, a coffee powder manufacturer buys raw coffee bean from the market. This raw coffee bean is roasted at a very high temperature to remove the moisture content in it. This roasting is process one. This roasted coffee bean is then taken to process two where it is grinded to make pure coffee powder. Grinding is process two. The pure coffee powder is then taken to process three where it is mixed with chicory to make blended coffee. This blended coffee is then taken to process four where it is packed and is ready to be supplied to the retail stores. So the coffee that we drink daily undergoes four process before it reaches our home. Process one, roasting, process two, grinding, process three, blending and process four, packing. A good management will always want to know what is the cost of the product. And the cost of this coffee powder is the total cost of all the four processes. In fact, a good management would also like to know what is the cost of the product at the end of each process. And the process costing exactly gives you the information. Process costing is a method in which we account for the cost of each process separately and we get to know the cost of the product at the end of each process. Now let's understand process costing with the help of another example. Example of a cloth manufacturer. The manufacture of cloth is divided into two processes. In the first process, the manufacturer buys raw cotton from the market. Let's say the cost of raw cotton is 100 rupees. Then he spends 20 rupees towards wages and another 30 rupees for expenses to convert this raw cotton into yarn. What is the cost of yarn? The cost of yarn now is 150 rupees. The yarn, which is the output of process 1, is then transferred to process 2, where the manufacturer is spending 60 rupees towards wages and he spends another 40 rupees for expenses to convert the yarn into cloth. Now the total cost of cloth is 250 rupees. On top of this, he adds another 50 rupees as profit and he sells it in the market for 300 rupees. Thanks to process costing, we now know what is the cost at the end of each process. At the end of process 1, the total cost is 150 rupees and there is an additional cost of 100 rupees in process 2 and the total cost of manufacturing cloth is 250 rupees. Now, let me use the same example to explain to you the advantages of process costing. Going to advantage number one, we all know the cost of manufacturing one unit of yarn is 150 rupees. Usually, the management will also know what is the standard cost of manufacturing one unit of yarn. Now, what they will do? They will compare the actual cost with the standard cost to measure the efficiency of process manager. And if there is a cost overrun, they will hold the process manager accountable for that. So the first advantage of process costing is fixing accountability. Moving on to the second advantage, let us consider a scenario. The cost of manufacturing one unit of yarn is 150 rupees. Let's say the management comes to know that the same quality of yarn can be purchased from the open market for just 140 rupees. Now what will the management do? Will they want to make it themselves for 150 rupees or they want to buy it from the open market for 140 rupees? The answer is obvious. They will want to buy it from the open market for 
140 rupees that is the second advantage of process costing it helps you in taking a make or buy decision whether to make the yarn themselves or to buy it from the open market that decision is called make or buy decision going to the third advantage it is another scenario now the yarn is manufactured for 150 rupees the management has two choices process the yarn further by spending another 100 rupees convert it into cloth and sell it for 300 rupees and make a profit of 50 rupees they have another alternative they can sell the yarn in the open market for let us say 210 rupees and make a profit of 60 rupees per unit of yarn what will they do definitely the answer again is very obvious they will want to sell the yarn for 210 rupees instead of processing it further and selling it as cloth because here they make a profit of 60 rupees whereas there they make a profit of only 50 rupees so the third advantage of process costing it helps them in deciding whether to process further or sell it so i will summarize all the three advantages advantage number one it helps in fixing accountability advantage number two it helps in taking the decision of make or buy advantage number three it helps them in taking the decision of whether to process further or to sell it as it is i hope you understood process costing in our next video we will be discussing how to prepare a process account